Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Please click like and subscribe button so you can support me and help this channel to grow. Now let's get into the video. In today's video, I would like to show you how to move your VST plugin slash software to another folder or disk. Now, you might be asking, what's the difference with the manual process? Well, the difference is that when you move it manually, there is higher chance that your plugins won't work afterwards, and you still have to rescan your plugins with your digital audio workstation. While when you use this method, if you follow it correctly, your plugins will still work perfectly as if it was never moved anywhere else and plus, you don't need to rescan it. But before we jump to the tutorial, I'll explain how it works so everything will make sense to you. The app you'll use to move your plugins aka Ultimate Plugin Tools will move your plugins to the destination folder and then create a shortcut in the previous folder, the old one, you know? Which means your plugins will still detect your plugins. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that should be. Which means your DAW will still detect your plugins as if it was still in the old folder, and then the shortcut will redirect your DAW to the new folder. Because your DAW should still identify your plugins in the old folder, it would allow plugins that would only work if you place it in system disk to work perfectly. And another useful function is that you can also move soft you can also move software such as Adobe Photoshop to another disk with this software and it's still working smoothly. That is awesome, right? By the way, I made, I've made a review of the software we will use in today's tutorial. Click here or click link in the description to watch it. Download link is, is also available in the description. Now, let's move on to the tutorial. First of all, download the installer pack and install the software. Pause this video and just leave it in the background. After the process is done, open the software. Choose Relocate Plugin Content and then click Next. Now, choose the plugin source folder and choose the new destination folder. When you're done, click Next. Now all you have to do is wait. When the second loading bar is green and the operation status is completed, it means your folder has been moved successfully. If you see that the process is done but the green bar is not full yet, it is safe to just close the software because technically your plugin is already moved. I'm telling you this because sometimes the green bar is kinda confusing. When um, the process status shows completed, the green bar is still just half or... Yeah, I mean it's completed but the green bar is just not working. Okay, I'm waiting for mine right now. And then... Congratulations, your plugins is successfully moved. Now you can continue your work to make music. That's all for the tutorial, I hope you guys understand my explanation and this tutorial helped you to move your plugins to another folder or disk. Please click like and subscribe so you can motivate me to keep making video like this. That's it and thanks for watching, bye bye!